Kenyan police have exhumed dozens of bodies near the coastal town of Malindi. The remains are thought to belong to worshippers at the Good News International Church who believed they would go to heaven if they starved themselves to death. And as authorities investigate a pastor identified as Paul Nthenge Mackenzie, some of the victim's family members seem to have lost hope of finding their loved ones alive. When I get to such a phone, I see someone, I told them they are going to see Jesus on date 8 and she went missing on date 7. So it's when I get to connect where I'm going to look for them. So then I tracked a flight. It only book a one-way ticket to Malindi, which she should have a return ticket back to Nairobi. It's so disheartening and very inhuman to see what is going on here. Because at least since Monday we have been coming, there is no day we have not rescued a life. But all the people who have been coming here, I can, I can see none of us have seen our relative. But we are just finding, rescuing more people and seeing more graves. The shallow graves are in Shakahola Forest an 800-acre piece of land belonging to the pastor, Paul Mackenzie. He allegedly instructed his followers to fast to death. Kenyan police rescued 15 members of the Good News International Church on April 14th. At least four of them were found in an emaciated state and died while being rushed to hospital in the police rescue operation. We have visited some homes in some villages such as Bethlehem and Judea and in the villages you find some parents lose all their children or they themselves die. Personally, I have visited about 18 gravesites of children. So in short, Mackenzie was then arrested following a tip-off that suggested the existence of the shallow graves belonging to his followers. The leader of the church is currently in police custody. Human rights activists have condemned Mackenzie's alleged actions. This is another massacre that has happened here. So we are all calling upon the Inspector General, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation and all the teams to be brought here to Shakahola because this is not a normal case. It is a crime against humanity. According to Kenyan local media, Police sources report that Pastor Mackenzie was refusing to eat or drink while in police custody. The pastor was previously detained in March in connection to the death of two boys in the area but was later released.